Hey, <laughs> Knocking Point friends. Our monthly collaborator this month is Miss Italia Ricci. Hello. Married to Robbie Amell. Yeah. Cousin. Yeah. Family. What's your first memory with wine? I was seven years old and <laughs> I, <laughs> I grew up on a farm and my grandfather, actually maybe younger, my grandfather used to make his own wine, but like legit Italian wine. Yeah. And he would mix it with ginger ale and we would have it at lunch and he would say, and I would be like, yeah, this tastes terrible. And he's like, it's good for your heart. You have to drink it. So thank you, Nona Luigi. I am an alcoholic because of you. I remember at a very, very young age being given a glass of white wine. But like a, like a small glass, and if I ask for a second, they'd ignore me. <laughs> but I remember being given a glass of wine. It was like a, sp a spritzer I had. Yeah, mine was yeah. straight wine. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to introduce everyone to her wine. Well read. If you know me at all, you know that I like puns. I wanted something that was a pun, but also was wine, so well read. Drew and I were trying to decide what we were gonna name our first Malbec varietal. And Italia shouted over everyone, just call it a Malbec. And she had to say it four times before I realized that it was a pun on my last name. Which is why the back label of a Malbec says it's like a regular Malbec, but better. And this one says it's like and a Malbec. And a Malbec, but smarter. Because it's well read. Do you remember the one that I told you to do if you ever did a collaboration with a baseball player? No. A Mel B. <laughs> right? I just got that. <laughs> I texted it to you like six months ago. <laughs> We chose to hold this wine off for the family aspect of it. Well, I think that it's better that we waited because now it's like Christmas, which is my favorite time ever. I think I started listening to music in June. Don't tell Cass, because she <laughs> hates it. She yeah. always fights me every year that it's too early. I tell my wife to leave everyone alone about Christmas music because she doesn't <laughs> let us play it until after Thanksgiving dinner. I couldn't listen to Christmas music this year until four o'clock on November 28th. That's too late. You were listening to it before we did the tasting for this. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> My ringtone if somebody calls me is that Holly. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> Who are you most excited to share the new wine with? So my mom makes her own wine, but like makes her own wine. <laughs> and it's like, like, like bathroom wine? <laughs> no, no, like goes to a company and like creates the like terrible sticker yeah. label. It's awful and it's always been awful, but she loves it. What if your mom just blind taste tested the wine that she makes with your wine? Which wine would you pick? Hers. For sure, it's like juice. You know, we get professional it's, wine makers. No, I know, but hers is like really that hard on cultivating. Zinfandel that like really, she, yeah. Everyone she can't have real wine. She's a wimp. Everyone assumed you. because it was just me and Drew starting the winery that the wine was going to be shit. So every time people try it, they, they <laughs> well, come up to us and they go, they, they go, "This is actually go, good." Wait a minute, this is actually good. Thanks. <laughs> what did you think that we were going to do? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. One more cheers. Cheers.